so I'm gonna be doing a few videos like just like some ROMs that I've been using and seeing in the forums this is Paranoid Android they're up to 1.9 alpha so I mean it's still an alpha but I hear it's stable and it's based off of Mod 10 let's go into settings real quick let's go down to about phone bring it in, in a little bit because I know you probably can't see it and as you can see Android 4.1.1 Based off CM10, it's got the stock Cyanogen Mod kernel. And then under Cyanogen Mod setting, it says Paranoid Android. Alright, so let's go back. It comes with, actually, it comes with the stock um, Cyanogen Mod 10 stuff Apollo, DSP Manager, Dev Tools. So uh, that's pretty much it. Let's just jump into the settings. You're more than likely going to be using it like this. Rotated. Rotating is not on. Auto rotate. Rotation is disabled. So let's turn that on. And then it's like a tablet. Let's go into lock screen. If you didn't watch my um, Sanage Mod 10 video, you should. Because this is what this is all about. So it's a system with the notification drawer at the top, and I'm just going to jump into Paranoid Android settings. Because this is kind of like the main feature of this ROM. So let's go into configuration. Stock, phone. Shouldn't stock and phone be the same thing? No, because hybrid mode is off there and hybrid mode is on, on the phone. It's just one thing to look out for. You have phablet small, phablet big, tablet small, or tablet big. So I mean, I'm going to jump into the phablet small. And it says applying. It allow and it prompts you for super user. System has been granted super user permissions. And it says successfully applied. I'm assuming I'm going to have to do a reboot for this. And let's just do a reboot. And this also gives me a chance to show you guys the new boot animation. Because it's different than the Android 4.0 Paranoid Android one. I need to clean my screen. It's dirty. Shiny though. Shiny. That's bright. A little jelly beans kind of floating around it now. I, th I think that's pretty cool. And right away, you can kind of notice this is a little bit smaller. The buttons are way smaller. Notification drawer. If I can get it. it that's kind of cool. It, it doesn't take up the whole screen, it kind of comes down in center, like fashion. Let's go into apps. Let's go into settings. Settings are kind of the same. Let's go into YouTube. See if anything's kind of not now. Just gonna click that. Click OK. So I mean, it doesn't have like the new 3D uh, carousel like thing. So I guess that's so it's like the uh, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note. Let's go back into settings. Let's go back into paranoid. You can change like custom ones for like apps. So say you want to go to YouTube and like you just want YouTube and nothing else in tablet mode. You can just click tablet UI and then click apply. And then it would say you have to force close it. And that's how you do it like for like an individual app and also you can back up preferences restore preferences and delete backups so let's go back into YouTube and already you can see that the top bar is different basically gonna take a little bit to load but like you can see 
like how it uh just doesn't look like the stock also the nav bar at the bottom it doesn't like rotate on the side in uh youtube kind of notice that just give this a minute to load this does have the 180 degrees rotation though but here's the youtube as you can see you get that 3d carousel that i think is actually really cool see then you also get it like this so i mean you don't just have to have everything like that you can just choose custom apps so let's go back into paranoid android settings let's go into configuration let's put it on tablet tablet big that way you can see like the changes that apply to you know the camera and stuff here's also the reboot menu you can click expand desktop pretty sure you have to reboot but in the reboot you get reboot recovery and bootloader you also get the screenshot option since this is based off of um, signage mod 10 you do have the toggles and you do have the system settings that you've seen right there above uh, paranoid android settings so that's kinda cool this is based off of signage mod 10 by the way if you didn't know in case you wanted to see the boot animation again because it's actually really quick to boot up um, I've on Xenon HD it takes like a full minute to boot up this one doesn't take long at all and it's fast so now you notice there's no status bar at the top it's on the bottom and then you also have your toggles on the bottom you can jump into settings so the same settings custom apps work phone is a little bit smaller it's going to app tray uh, play play music is one thing that I noticed it kind of changes a little bit easy get the little 3d effect I guess you actually have to have music to try that out that kind of sucks you get the tablet UI on nope so YouTube is kind of the only one that I know with the tablet UI like the 3d carousel Let's go back. Just go into camera. Let's try video recording. Video recording works. I don't know why flash is on, but camera works. Touch to focus. So I mean everything works that works in um cyanogen mod. And actually, you do you get the signage mod wallpapers too. So, but that's a this isn't a review because I just installed this. So this is my quick look at Paranoid Android version 1.9 Alpha on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus.